funny. We joked last night, like, oh, we have rain in the forecast, but at mm. least it's not snow. Yeah. And well, yet, there was some snow. here we are. Yeah. yeah. Like, none of this is really crazy unusual, yeah. like the, the freeze watch warning tonight. Like, it does happen. Yeah. But we just block it out of our memories. Right. You know, it's just part we of We focus well, on the nice day. Yeah. You know, and it's, I, I think I was thinking, you know, the last time we had snow was May 8th. I think that was the latest we saw it. So I'm like, oh, we're well beyond right. May oh, 8th. Oh, clear. That's an mm -hmm. inch of snow. See, you, oh. you got to pay attention to the weeniness here. This is, <laughs> it's, the, all these, all these records are like an inch of snow or a trace of snow. And n neither of those would have been met today. But you still see a few flakes floating around. All right, 46 right now in Bangor, 48 in Portland, 46 in Lewiston. It's chilly, so it's not hard to imagine. It's going to be chilly tonight as temperatures continue to drop. You can see those snowflakes, as Amanda was mentioning. Greenville, we got some uh, video. Uh, Rangeley, there's been a couple of flakes as well. All the way to Bridgeton, that shocked me. That we saw some flakes there, according to a video that I saw. Um, otherwise, they've been rain showers. So here's your uh, freeze warning in effect. And then you've got, it looks like that's probably um, a freeze watch, meaning we're not as confident, or they're not as confident that it will freeze there, which I, I buy that. Again, once again, the mountains are not included because the growing season has not begun, but it will be cold there. In fact, those are the coldest temperatures. They're back into um, Freiburg and Brownfield and into North Conway. There'll be some low 20s there early tomorrow morning, so several hours below freezing in that zone. The good news is we've got the power of the sun this time of the year working for us. So tomorrow we start to climb out of this hole pretty quickly. The winds settle down. We get to around 60. It's not a warm day, but it's pretty reasonable with full sunshine. It'll feel pretty nice. And then it's a lot uh, less cold tomorrow. We have a beautiful day on Friday where we've got an onshore flow. So the coast is about 60 maybe even a little cooler over down east. Inland, upper 60s, there'll be some low 70s as well. But Friday's going to play as a really nice day for most of us. And then on Saturday, we'll wait for some rain to arrive. We'll talk about that in a second. So we get on the other side of the high by Thursday afternoon. That brings us into that kind of southwest flow. That's a better place to be at. And then that system that we're watching over the weekend is essentially a warm front, cold front with this low down to the south. So when that all comes together, it comes together over Maine. The timing was the issue. Good news is it looks like my initial read on this is going to be right or looks right still, which is that most of this rain comes in late on Saturday afternoon. Some of us will be after sunset into Saturday night. That's when it's raining and then it moves out pretty early on Sunday. The exception to this might be down eight down East Maine where this front really slows down. So they might not get the Sunday that the rest of us will, unfortunately. So um, that's really the only rain here, guys, is, is Saturday night into early Sunday. And then it looks good Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week. And I just want to defend my sept down east because sometimes when I abbreviate things, I get emails yes. about it. It doesn't fit. OK, it doesn't fit in the yes, little graphic exactly. right. thing. So. Yes, it's don't a lot come, to fit in don't there. Come at me. This wind we've seen mm. has knocked over a few trees, but it seems yeah. like only a few power outages out there. So that's no, good news. It's just an, it's annoying. It's you know yeah. 30 miles an hour, or so um, nothing crazy. But I am interested to see how cold cold is tonight. I do think yeah. we'll see some twenties. We'll feel and for it for a tonight. few hours. That's going to be yeah. you know it's pretty strong, noticeable. Mm. Yeah. All right, Keith. Thanks so much.